I think uh, something that they should really be thinking about um, about students on their campus is that the population has changed drastically from, you know, 20 years ago um, and 10 years ago. Um, that there are so many different populations that they're serving on the campus that they have to think about. To be familiar with those different populations, to speak to those different populations, really include them in the conversation and in the different um, modes of learning, with technology, for example. Um, they really need to try and include as many people as possible. I think that's something incredibly important that I try and do myself. So. Um, to be as inclusive as possible, definitely. When there's a student or a classroom is to walk into that classroom or wherever that setting where there's students with a clean slate, perceptions of students that maybe students like are lazy or maybe that, you know, they're the internet, you know, the internet kids, the Gen X, Gen Z, that, you know, but that acknowledge that we come from different, you know, backgrounds. We're very diverse. We come with different, you know, like anxiety, depression. We all face different, like, demons and stuff like that. So be a support system. Be a motivation because you never know what that student, maybe they don't have that support system at home. So when they come into college, this is their home. Growing up, you're pretty much taught not to seek help. You're pretty much taught that you either sink or swim. And in the way I was raised, it wasn't manly. It's like, go out there and go get it on your own and figure out a way how to do it. And that was the way I was taught because it was a sign of weakness. But now I see that it's, it's probably the opposite. I think you're weaker if you don't ask for help and you have more strength when you do.